afternoon. Not so much the talk yesterday was, was the final drive and the excitement of that, but what do you think about the way the defense finished the game to get three and outs on the last three drives and both were to set that up? That was big, you know. It gave us some time on the clock to not give them a first down, so giving them 44 seconds turned out to be more than enough just to get the ball back and give them a chance was big. So the last two drives, them getting off the field helped out a lot. Aside from the, the, the two-minute drives, including the one you won the game, you know, offensively, you guys you know, still didn't get the ball right in the end zone, kick, kick some field goals. I know you tried to run it more. It seemed like you ran it a lot on first down. Like, did you see any real progress? I mean, winning the game is the thing. I get that. I don't want to minimize that. But just in terms of what you wanted to see from your offensive. So some good, some bad from the run production. Uh, we missed a few blocks here and there. I think that had a lot to do with it. Uh, again, we're making an effort to do it, but not at the expense of losing the ball game. So we're going to continue to work on it and go from there. Are there things you could point to in terms of things that you guys step back and reevaluated and wanted to do differently that you saw as a plus, as an improvement, as, as a change in, in yesterday's game? I mean, there's a lot of things we want to try to improve and step back and do. Uh, we got better defensively on third down, especially third and long. You know, that's been an Achilles heel the past couple of weeks. Uh, red zone defense got a little better. We moved the ball a little more on offense. Uh, just small things that we got to continue to work at. Todd, getting Carlton and Sean back was, was a big boost to the defense. Can you speak up about the, the job that they did, especially, you know, setting the perimeter as, as well when the Rams tried to, you know, go sideline to sideline? I thought they played physical. You know, going into the game, it was a big emphasis on not having yards after catch or just the jet sweeps getting out there and getting some yardage. And I thought all three corners played very physical and did a good job. Did you come out okay physically? Uh, so far, yeah. I haven't gotten the final report yet, though. Looked like Julio came off a little gingerly. Does you see anything heard from about him? Not yet. I'll check on it. Todd, what's going on with the, the screen game right now? It seems like you're running a lot of plays with the screen, but not really to, to great effect. Is, what, what isn't working with, with that aspect of the offense? A lot of things, the timing aspect of it, the defense is playing it well at times, and at times we get discombobulated. You know, we got to continue to work at that or find different ways of doing it. I think that the, the field goal block here right before halftime where Wagner kind of hurdled the center, it, it seemed like that was clean, but want to make sure you thought that was kind of done within the rules for what you're allowed to do to, to leave. It was clean. Never touched nobody. That's just got to be well-timed more than anything else to pull it off the way he did, right? Well, we have ways to block it. Uh, we should have got a hand up here and not, not to stop somebody from going over there. We understand there's going to be jumpers, but he did a good job and made a good play. We don't get to talk about Keith Armstrong very often, but just the job he's done, and particularly in the, the kicking game. No, we thought we've been thinking he's been doing a great job. You know, Keith Keith is a hard worker. He understands the game. He has a great knowledge of the game. He's been doing it a long time. Uh, he's, he's he's probably one of the top coaches we have, and we have quite a few of them. He's one of our top coaches. Uh, spends hourless times uh, trying to get these guys better, along with Tandy and Chris, and they do a great job over there. Camarda had such a strong game, uh, and had the one punt that looked like it very well might have bounced at the one and not been a touchback, but was ruled a touchback. Is that one of those where the challenges and the timeouts are at such a premium in the second half, you have to be careful what you what you challenge? Well, when the ref came over and told me that they couldn't tell and they watched the replay and couldn't tell, they weren't going to change it, so there was no need to challenge in it. Are you okay with Jake making as many tackles as he's making, particularly on kickoff? No, I am not okay with that. <laughs> We got to do a better job with our coverage unit uh, sealing up the middle of the field. There haven't been a lot of explosive plays on offense. I know it's all interconnected with the offensive line and the run game and everything else. But what do you see in that is preventing you from from getting the twenty plus yard plays? You got to run the ball better. If if you don't suck them up to throw over their head, they're going to stay back all day long. And if they stay back all day long when you are running the ball, then you got to take what they give you. And they're kind of taking what they give us right now. We're kind of trying to take what they give us right now. They're not allowing us to get those plays over the top, but we got to keep working at it. Doesn't mean we're not trying to get them. Just means that they're, they're back deep enough to where we can't get them. So we just don't want to throw it over there just to throw it. I know that Scotty Miller dropped a, a touchdown pass 
good for him. He came back and made some plays on the final drive. He got the ball back. But in general, like, are you starting to see, is he gaining more or regaining more trust? Or is, is, it, is there a third receiver emerging if Julio's not that guy that, that Tom now? Because your other, you know, Godwin and Evans are playing a lot of snaps as receivers. I think it changes each game, you know, whether it's running back by committee that has the catches, whether it's Julio, whether it's Gage, whether it's Scotty, and sometimes it's Perryman. I don't think we have a solidified third catcher as of right now with Julio having been in and out of the lineup. But I think guys are stepping in and making plays and kind of as a group slowly forming that aspect of it. There was a report during the broadcast from Tracy Wilson that um, you know, Rashad was in the game and that you know, Leonard Fournette was not happy and uh, was kind of sulking on the bench and Rashad had to go up to him and, and kind of get him going again and say, we need you. Did you see any of that? I mean, I know you're on the sideline, but have you heard I, anything about that? I didn't see or hear anything about it. Kind of of the four you didn't have Sunday of Winfield, Braid, Gage, and Gedeke, and even Gio Bernard, do you, do you know if anyone's going <clears> to play to get back to practice to be playing and, and potentially play for you in Germany? Not at this time. I don't. I have more information Wednesday. <laughs> What's been your experience with these international games? Oof. Um, Travel, you know, you got to do a lot with the travel. I think I traveled, we traveled overseas with the Jets to play in London, and you know that the, uh, the toilet tissue we had to bring because it was a lot harder over there than it was over here. So <laughs> that that was probably a different experience for us. But you know, it, it, they're all been fine. The travel's been good. Going two ply for Munich? Huh? Two ply is the plan for me. <laughs> I haven't done my homework yet on that part of it. <laughs> Different country. How, uh, have you been to Germany yourself ever before? I played in Frankfurt in a preseason game back when I was with the Niners back in 1991. Oh, wow. wow. Did that you was, see any of it? Or? Uh, yeah, I, I saw enough of it, but it was so long ago that I don't remember. You know, it, it looked like a nice place. I just never got to visit it much. Yeah. Thank you.